So I've had this problem with my X1C after I got the SuperTAC build plate. Um, and I have really, really struggled. I was just about to toss in the whole thing about 3D printing, but um, I've been I've been perfectly able to print on uh, like engineering plate and smooth cool plate with the glue stick and everything. And when I do calibration runs on the SuperTAC, it works fine. But as soon as it starts to print normal prints, it can do the calibration lines at the start of the print. They work perfectly fine. And then it moves to where it's supposed to start printing the normal prints. And it's almost like the uh, filament is not sticking. It just keeps bubbling out of the nozzle and sort of moving up around the nozzle and making a big blob around the, the nozzle tip. It doesn't even touch the surface of the build plate. Uh, and I've been really, really struggling with this for months since I got the build plate, especially after I, uh, I tried to print on the old version of Orca Slicer, uh, which required me to connect to the cloud. Uh, and that worked for most other things. And then I thought, okay, I, it could be an issue with the super tack build plate uh, having a different height, not being detected properly, etc., etc. Um, so I expected everything to be really great when I uh, when I um, moved over to the newer version of uh, Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio. And uh, I followed all the guidelines uh, on how to uh, prepare my Orca Slicer and everything. So I put my X1C into land mode. So I only be printing land mode and I really miss uh, Bamboo Handy to stop print. I'm going to see if I can get this, uh, these other tools to work for uh, similar functionality. But um, so far I haven't done that. But the main problem has been... Uh, basically what I thought was adhesion problems to the SuperTAC because it is a it is a great build plate it has an awesome uh, stickiness for PETG and PLA and a lot of the stuff I print is PLA uh, especially some kind of uh, tuning pad covers for guitars I have designed uh, and uh, make different designs for I, I print it a lot and it has the use of different um, colors and it requires an easy way to remove it. So I used to print that on textured build plates. Um, I didn't like the rough finish under it. So um, yeah. Um, so I posted a lot of stuff on the forums, uh, both Orca Slicer and the Bamboo Studio ones. And um, everyone said all the old stuff fix your filament, it's not calibrated, it's not dried, uh, check your rods, uh, check your uh, belts, check everything. Uh, and and basically I talked to the ones sort of developing Orca Slicer and they said this is not a problem with Orca Slicer. Uh, so they, they said this has to be a printer problem. And, and um, it turns out it is not a printer problem and it took me a long time to find this out. Uh, there is one specific settings that causes this as far as I can see and uh, there was one guy who uh, sort of put me on the right track. Uh, the name of the guy was on the bamboo forums. Uh, he's called Krellboy. His answer wasn't actually the fix, but it put me in the right direction. And he wrote, try to entirely turn off build plate recognition. Cancel doesn't do a thing. Now, that reminded me that when I was setting up this new version of Orca Slicer, there was a recommendation to uh, remove all detection of build plates so you wouldn't get this warning coming up all the time that you might have a different build plate than what was supported. And I was thinking, you know, I did change to the newer version to have detection of the build plate because the old version of Orca Slicer didn't actually have a profile for the SuperTAC. 
So I thought, okay, I'm going to do what he says, uh, but I'm going to do it in the reversed way because I already had it disabled. So I'm going to enable build plate detection. And it prints like a dream. So what can I say? Um, uh, if you have the problem that you see in the video right now, where it moves down and it uh, it prints the uh, lines and then it goes to the middle and starts to print and it just oozes out and it doesn't stick anyone and stick to anything this could actually be other build plates as well I think uh, if you have this problem and you have turned off build plate recognition then I highly suggest you try to enable build place recognition to see if that fixes the problem for you to need to um if you don't remember where you disabled build plate recognition, you go to the device menu and then you go to printer options and then you make sure you have ticked enable detection of build plate position. This will make sure that it scans the barcodes of the build plates and it should fix printing problems with the SuperTAC.